Hello everybody, uh, recently I've been learning how to god bridge. A lot of these videos, they don't offer like many tips and tricks on like how to do it and shit. With the uh, webcam. First of all, if you don't know, the best place you can go to practice is probably mcplitchd.net. Um, most of this video is just countering uh, the problems. If you have a specific problem, there's uh, timestamps in the description and here uh, for everything. Before you can even god bridge, you'll need to have the drag click, okay, like short drag click like this. And uh, this is this is a Godbridge tutorial, so I, I I will leave a drag clicking tutorial in the description. Uh, to Godbridge, you have to aim at a specific area. Uh, it can even be on this side or this side. If you open your F3 menu, you'll see these numbers up here, and they need to be around 145, um, 75. And there is the negative version. So if I go this way, you'll see the negative. You if you don't do this, you will fall off. But this discourages um a lot of people. Now you don't have to actually line this up perfectly every every game. Unless you're doing like a hundred blocks or a lot of blocks, then it, 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 you, you don't have to do that. Alright, so once you've done it a few times, all you have to do is aim it up like around here. And so basically what you're going to be doing is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, jump, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc, etc. Cetera, et cetera. You also got to make sure you're timing it correctly as well. So just make sure you're doing it correctly. But that helps a lot. Like I can do it without even looking if I get it correctly. So, you know, a lot of people, like, uh, you know, they all know all these rules, they can do short drag really well, but then they do it, and they aim down here, they aim, like, the correct area, and then, uh, they, so you'll be, they'll be doing it, and they'll, they'll aim down here, and they'll be like, and then they'll just do one block, or around, like, and, like, four blocks, two blocks, whatever. And now, there is actually a really easy way, uh, to counter this, just like new players, uh, you can actually aim up here, right? And then what you have to do is you place your first block, and then usually you'd be pressing both keys, right? But stop pressing like the D key and just have S hold for a second. And then it brings you down here. And this basically turns into a moonwalk where you readjust your aim like uh, just for the first block. It doesn't actually even change it by the millisecond. I'll uh, do it in motion here. Right there. Now, another problem is you'll be doing it, right? And you go up and you're like, okay. And your, your mouse will start going upwards. So if I... I'm trying to get a bit, like, my, my mouse is going to move, right? Now, there's two ways you can count this pretty easily. Number one is just, you see this kind of tip on your mouse, you can just aim there and do slightly shorter drags. But if sometimes, if you have, like, really sweaty hands, like I do, they'll still move upwards and it'll just, it'll just, it'll just make you fail. Now, there's a very simple way to count this. Just go into your Lunar Client settings, right? Free look. Now, free look, basically what it does is it basically makes you be looking at the same block, but thinking... And a fun fact on Luna is that uh, you can do this in first person. And you're going to set toggle for a look on and set it to a key like X or something that you won't accidentally press. And then look, I'm technically looking that way right now. But uh, anyways, this is basically just a, a worse version of F5. Uh, but it stops your mouse from moving. And another thing you can do is you could just make a sensitivity on setting on your mouse for zero. So you can press one of these sensitivity keys like here, press that, and then it'll just completely stop. Another thing you can do is you can put tape on the bottom uh, points, like here and here. But uh, yeah, that's just my solution to countering it. So some more settings. Uh, basically, there's a few other things you can do in just your general settings. Uh, if you're going to do this, this view bobbing and dynamic FOV. Dynamic FOV will make it so your FOV increases when you walk. And you can just disable that, but that's more personal preference. But view bobbing. View bobbing will make your mouse bob and your screen bob when you're goal bridging. So it'll basically look like this. Which is very distracting for some people, so just disable that. Anyway, a lot of people use this. Uh, it's called the, it's called the arrow crosshair. It really helps goal bridging because you can line up just perfectly on the specific arrow. And then you know, so how do you enable this? You just go into the lunar client settings, uh, crosshair, and for reference, they do have ninety percent of the stuff on Badline too. Settings. Let's just go in that. Enable the outline. That really helps. Uh, set this. Set these sliders and set it to arrow. And if you're like new, I would recommend starting for anywhere between five to seven. Just overall five to seven. All right. So you're bridging. You're bridging. You do like five to seven blocks. So you do your blocks, and then you jump. You just fail. You just straight up fail. Now this is this is pretty hard to count on. But an easier way to do it is you can just go into a more easy bridge like Breezley. Uh, something like that and just try and jump with that bridge even moonwalk or something and it just slows it down a bit and allows you to like calculate a bit more and it actually helped me quite a lot overall though practice is mainly just making perfect for this one right so you know you come pretty far you've, you've done all these things you, you know you're doing all these 
professional tactics where you go, uh, you can do it fine, right? You can do it great. You can go all the way to the end. So then you'll, you'll, you know, you're facing the void. You, you look here. So you're about to start your bridge, and they, and then you see the point. It's just like I, I I'm gonna lose everything. I'm, I can't play this game. I'm gonna ruin the entire game if I fall off. And then you know you fail. You you get too too scared. You like one block. Now there is a very simple way to count this, which is extremely useful in my opinion. Just go a few blocks back. You know one, two, three, four, whatever, and you just build up two blocks, and then start from there. So if you fail your first block, you know that's fine. Fail a few blocks, you can just clutch it, and you know you can get back up. You can try again, and it really helps just not staring into the bottomless pit that is the void. You know, it's not its not exactly going to save you if you do like, you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then 4. But uh, it will it will definitely help you. If you think there's anything I missed, or if there's any like other tips you might want to share, um, leave it in the comments and I'll leave a pin or heart your comment, or maybe make a pin comment explaining some of those tips. Oh yeah, and one last thing, it, when you're guard bridging, another thing you can do is you can just and then jump after six or four blocks. It doesn't have to be eight. Anyways, uh, I hope you enjoyed. And uh, thank you for what is like almost uh, 50 subscribers. Uh, I appreciate that a lot.